So this is the first time this machine has been used in Texas. Um, there have been a Morgan is the 14th patient to receive treatment with this machine, um, but this is the first one that's been used in Texas, and Morgan is the first patient to receive it at Texas Children's Cancer Center. You don't want to extend the, 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 the left leg further than the right leg. Yeah, right. So, you, and, but, and of course, but then again, you don't want the right leg to be too much longer than the left. Of course. Yeah. Uh, so next month, we'll probably extend it again another mm. five millimeters. Yeah. We, and then we'll see how close we are. We, the, the this limb was a little bit shorter than that one. Mm -hmm. We don't have any fine tuning in the OR because mm -hmm. it's you make a cut and then right. you put in this prosthesis which was especially made for her. Right. And then if it's longer or shorter then that's what we have. Right. She was a little bit shorter and so we're bringing her out right. to close to that length. Right. And then when she starts growing, as you said, that one will get longer and then we'll bring this one to match. How often that is? Depends on how she grows. How she grows. Right. And when she gets off chemo and how much that's slowing her down.
because the fewer surgeries they have, the fewer infections and complications of surgery, the less interference with their overall treatment plan, which includes oh, many year, uh, up to a year of chemotherapy and hospitalization. So I think overall for the patient, it's really a great advance. Actually did very well through surgery and didn't stay very long in the hospital after that. Um, and I think having done this, having had this implant and having had this procedure today, I think she's going to do much better in the future. She won't require more surgeries. This went so well today. She didn't have any pain. She was a little fearful, I think, in the beginning because she didn't know what to expect. But it went extremely well. Um, she really, I thought, didn't really feel it. And so I think for the future, it's going to be pretty easy. Until the day we walked into the cancer center on December 8th, I'd never been to Texas Children's in my life. They'd never been here, and so my first experience was coming up the elevator and walking into the cancer center with a child who I thought was perfectly healthy. And immediately, when I walked in that day, I knew that we were in the best place that we could possibly be. And I've been very passionate about that the entire time. Um, the level of care that we get here from our entire team, I mean, from Dr. Wong especially, we, you know, we think she is the best. And of course, obviously, when this comes up and they give you a doctor's name, well, you know we got online and we researched. And the best of everything pointed to Dr. Wong in terms of treating our child with osteosarcoma and her team. Um, I had never heard of child life before we came here, but our entire team, the, the social workers, the child life, the staff on the ninth floor that takes care of us when we are, you know, we are impatient for every chemo. They're just absolutely awesome, and we are very much at ease when we're here. Um, the first thing I like initially is that everyone here talks to Morgan first. The doctors, the nurses, everybody. They ask Morgan what she thinks, and when Morgan's able to have a choice, they give her the choice of what she is to pick. And I, I feel very comfortable telling anybody that the best place for them to take their child is the Texas Children's Hospital Cancer Center for treatment. 